Hidden camera footage proves it. The Viennese abortionist Christian Fiala has hired thugs that kick pro-lifers, beat them and steal from them. But the prosecutor's office of Vienna now seems to have the intention of filing away the case, which has been pending for a year. That is why Gloria TV now publishes the footage from the first half of 2009 as proof. Flashback. In November 2007, a video proved how two employees of the Viennese abortionist Fiala, dressed in orange clothing, terrorized praying pro-lifers and abused them sexually. With a praying woman, they imitated a violation, as shown in the picture. After the publication of the video, the abortionist Fiala changed the henchman in front of his abortion clinic. Since then, two other paid thugs attacked the pro-lifers. The most brutal of them is usually dressed in black, sometimes he has an umbrella with him. The other attacker often wears a beige coat and has a colorful umbrella. Since the publication of the mentioned video, Fiala's thugs, here the one wearing the beige coat, search the parked cars for hidden cameras. They try to prevent their breaches of law from being filmed. Still, one of the many kicks that the Fiala thug in black gives the pro-lifers could be documented on video. In the bottom part of the image, now a repetition in slow motion, you can see him striking out and kicking the pro-lifer in front of him. Another kick against the pro-lifer wearing jeans is half cut off by the camera angle. Repeating the sequence in slow motion, you can again see the employee of Fiala striking out and kicking. In the year 2009, abortionist Fiala has admitted that the street rowdies, in the right-hand part of the picture, were working for him. In front of the weekly paper Falter, the abortionist admitted to his thugs stalking the pro-lifers day by day on the street. Quote, They look deep into the eyes of the religious activists, dance around them, read the advanced directives of the patients to them, and gabber recitatives at them. Recitatives also means that the attackers insult religion. In the following recording, you can hear the man in the beige coat proclaiming curses. The man dressed in black also attacks the prolifers with the points of his umbrella. Again and again, he uses it to hack at the head of the praying people. Both attackers fidget with their umbrellas immediately in front of the eyes of the praying pro-lifers. There is thus an acute danger of the latter being hurt. Here the attacker in black hits a handicapped pro-lifer in the flank. Here he puts him in mortal danger by pushing him on the heavily trafficked road. The attacker tries to impede the assistance of the pro-lifers to mothers who plan on having an abortion. They rip the flyers out of their hands, tear at the rosaries or blow cigarette smoke into their faces. On June 15, 2009, there was a particularly severe attack. The man in the beige coat with a white umbrella distracts the praying man by tearing at his rosary. Simultaneously, his accomplice, dressed in black, reaches into the pocket of the one praying and steals his wallet. After that, he remains standing behind him as though nothing had happened. He quickly puts the wallet into his own pocket. The violence of the two thugs of Fiala arouses the indignation of passers-by. Here a teacher brings her class to the abortion clinic. Although she seems to be favorable of Fiala, she turns back after seeing the heavy attacks on the pro-lifers in order to reproach the man in the beige coat. The latter ignores the teacher, stares aside impassively and continues to abuse the praying man. On these recordings, we can see the same attacker tearing at the rosary of one praying person. That arouses the attention of the tramway conductor. In the middle of the street, he stops his tramway and gestures at the attacker with his hand. The following footage dates from May the 4th, 2009. The thug dressed in black attacks one praying person with scissors. During a second attack with the scissors, he cuts up the rosary. On June 22nd, 2009, he goes even further. He wounds the hand of the praying person with the scissors. The victim then went to a public health officer just after that to have the wound documented. He then requested the prosecutor's office to investigate for theft concerning June the 15th and for bodily injury concerning June the 22nd, 2009. The official started inquiries. Up to now, the prosecutor's office of Vienna gives the impression of considering abuses and bodily injury as trivial offenses, because despite the facts documented on the video, the prosecutor's office has put the lawsuits concerning bodily injury and theft aside. The lawyer's office representing the injured pro-lifer 
obtained the continuation of the lawsuit at the Superior Court of Vienna. Now the prosecutor's office wants to stay the lawsuit again. That is why the thug of Fiala in the Beige Code seems to have gotten the situation right. Ah, das müssen Sie 